boys and girls, it's Queen Bee from Honey Bee Toys, and today we're going to make some glow-in-the-dark Shopkins. So these two Shopkins I already made glow-in-the-dark, so I'm going to turn off the lights and you can see how they glow in the dark. Okay, so here are my two Shopkins. It's a little dark, lighting's really bad, because I'm going to turn off the light and I want to show you how it glows. So I flicked off the light and you can see it is glowing in the dark, so it's really cool. And it even looks more glowy, or more bright um, in person, so let's get started on how to make this. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use my two Shopkins here. This, I think this name is Toasty Bread. And I always forget this one. This one I got from the Fashion Spree Series 4, 3 unboxing. And it's a mobile phone. It's like Smarty Phone or something like that. And we're going to make these two glow in the dark. And not only that, we're going to make a little house. This is our Camp Chocula glow in the dark lab that's really spooky. And we're going to cut that out so then our Shopkins can live there. So let's get started. So what I'm going to use is some glow in the dark nail polish. Do you see that? It says glow in the dark. So this is really cool. There's a lot of different ones. I think Wet n Wild makes one too. So I have a few of them. But I'm just going to use this one. And all you're going to do is protect your surface. So I just have a piece of paper under here. And I'm just going to open up my nail polish. And then paint it onto wherever I want to glow. So I'm just going to do for this toasty bread. I'm just going to do the front of it. And the back of it. I'm not going to do the side for two reasons. I think if you have a darker Shopkins, it's harder to make it glow. So a lighter, the lighter surfaces work a lot better. And because I can stand it up and I don't have to keep holding it. And then so for this one, I'm just going to do the front of the screen, maybe the kitty cat over here, and then make it glow. And we're going to wait for that to dry. And while that is drying, we are going to take our Count Chocula box and paint this box too to make it glow. So there's, this is like the cool, this is basically like glow in the dark paint. You can think about it that way. And I am just going to paint some of the cool things on the box and make it glow. Like right here, there is this cool little, I don't know what that is, like a light bulb thing. So that'll be cool to make it glow. And then there's two other little light bulbs. And this is like the neatest little paint. I did get it uh, around Halloween time. But I don't know, I think it should be available on Amazon or those websites um, year round. But if you're looking for it, do keep an eye out for it on Halloween. So I'm just painting. All oh, look at these cool lights that I'm going to paint too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. So I actually do have a few bottles of this glow-in-the-dark polish. So I'm going to have a big shopping giveaway once I reach 1,000 followers. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And this will probably be in the giveaway too. Okay. So now we'll wait for that to dry and we will cut it out also. Okay. Just taking my scissors and I'm going to cut out this little Count Chocula box. So I cut out the little cereal box and now you can open it up and there's Count Chocula inside. So that's pretty cool, huh? And let's see. I think my Shopkins are dry too. So I want to check out to see. Look at how cute they are. And they kind of match inside the spooky little lab. We'll put Toasty right there. We, is he, we're pretending that we're hooking him up to some scary lab to make him glow in the dark. And now let's dim the lights and see this glow in the dark board and the glow in the dark Shopkins. Okay, so the lights are dimmed and I'm gonna just turn off the light. And it's hard to see that it's glow in the dark, but you can see it, it's glowing. So this is the bottom nail polish that's glowing. And do you see our phone is glowing? So you can actually see the little phone and the little nail. Toasty bread is a little harder to see that it's glowing, but you can kind of see it. So, and then you can see all of the things that I painted that are glowing, like like the light bulb back there, and then do you see that? So the camera really does not do this justice, but it's so cool and so spooky. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let's put back on the light so that you're not just looking at dark stuff. So that was really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I do want to show you one thing about uh, glow in the dark stuff is that you have to charge glow in the dark stuff. Like if you want it to really glow in the dark, you want to put a lot of light on it. So I look right now, I'm shining this light bulb. It's a very bright light bulb here onto my glow in the dark um, things. And I'm going to flick this off. And then you're going to see that it glows so much after you like charge it. So like if you want things to really glow in the dark, like you can stick it out in the sun and then bring it into the closet and then you'll see that it glows a lot. So let me charge it and then I'm going to turn off the light. And do you see how much it's glowing? So, and now I'm going to turn off the light and you're going to see how much it's glowing. So you see how much it's glowing. So it's really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time. Bye. -bye.